Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of May 9th through May 16th for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday and then again on Monday. Sorry, that was a little loud. Every I post new readings every Friday and Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days, watch a different part of your chart, or even look around on Mondays. The readings are a different format every Monday, so there's quite a variety of readings available here. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and watching readings and hitting that like button. I appreciate it all. It means a lot to me, and this is fun, so I will keep doing it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. All right, let's begin and get the guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? What messages do you have for Libra, please? All right. So we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll use the Angel Answers Oracle cards, too. So you have here the Hierophant. Interesting, the High Priestess, because they're a couple. It's interesting, they're right next to each other. The Tower and the Two of Cups. You've got the King of Swords, Strength, the Knight of Wands, and the Devil here. Very interesting reading. Well, there's definitely a situation with love here. You know, it's you've got a couple here, but with the Tower and the Devil, there's something going on there. Whether you've broken up with someone and... If that's the case, you're still in their mind, and they definitely still have love for you. There's no doubt about that. Um, but if it's been an ending and you're you're looking to really find a soulmate, there's a soulmate here, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. You have here Capricorn, Taurus, Leo. You have water, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, fire, and air here too. And I do like to see the King of Swords representing here just as far as it's your own energy. But the Hierophant is a, it's a long-term commitment. It's, this is a, um, a priest, okay? And so it's, he, he's often the efficient for weddings and funerals. But in, in terms of this reading, it feels much more like a wedding than a funeral. Um, but with the Hierophant, he holds up his hand and says, be still and know. And just so you're, when these two come out together, this is interesting because you'll see how the Hierophant has his, his hand up and, and the devil does the same thing. But the devil's meaning is that everything can be controlled through your five senses. It's almost mocking the Hierophant. And so with that, it's very important to be connected and in alignment spiritually. Be meditating. Be whatever you do spiritually, whatever your practices are. If you've let those go to the wayside, it's time to get them back out and start doing them with earnestness. Because there's too much ego with the devil here. And it can keep a very restricted energy. You've got to... You know, we talk about the law of attraction quite a bit. I talk about it here. There's certainly other teachers. And you have 70,000 thoughts a day. It doesn't mean that, you know, all of those thoughts are necessarily communicating with the universe. It's the thoughts that you really have strong feelings about because those indicate beliefs. The Hierophant is a card of traditions, beliefs, and values. So be very clear. Get very clear in your subconscious mind what you believe in, because that's what's manifesting. If you're going, well, how am I supposed to know that? Well, look around you. What are your relationships like? If you're the person with the breakup here and you're wanting real love, then there's something in your subconscious that keeps bringing in relationships that aren't lasting. So the Hierophant holds the keys to the universe at his feet. He's a teacher. He's a healer. He's an uplifter. So it may be somebody who you meet, or it could even be you in this situation, but it definitely represents healing, uplifted energy, high vibrational wisdom. The, the gray and the pillars represent wisdom and knowledge. So you've definitely got knowledge here. But with the high priestess showing up, you know, when we look at this, I think I may have pointed this out, but you've definitely got a, a commitment here. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but there is an issue with the tower and the devil showing up. I do like to see the tower with the devil because it comes right after the devil in the order of the cards. And I always get delighted when I see that kind of stuff. But for now, let's talk about this. It's a card of the psychic. They're trying to tell you you've got strong intuition. 
And so if you're going around saying, I knew that was going to happen, it's because you were attracting it. So of course you knew it, but it's a card of passivity too. The uh, High Priestess is a card of analysis, but it's a, ca a card too that will reveal information. Things will come out to the light with this. There's nothing that will be hidden here. So she too, though, has a powerful energy in terms of she holds the Book of Torah on her lap, and that is the laws of the universe. So her gown here symbolizes the beginning of consciousness. You've got that pool of consciousness that runs through a lot of the cards here. So it, this is, again, about going into meditation, being in a deep spiritual place. And it may be, too, I, I get this for somebody here, like your spiritual practices did not align in a relationship. So it may be a new relationship that comes in that's better aligned, or it may be about trying to figure that out. But I definitely feel like for someone here, there's something about those spiritual practices that the other person thinks is... Um, you know, just sort of mumbo jumbo. They don't, they don't really believe in much. I get the the impression of that. So the tower is that corporate raider that comes in. And again, I love this because with the devil here, the tower comes right after the devil and that lightning bolt symbolizes, the crown symbolizes the ego and the lightning bolt symbolizes the universe knocking the ego to shreds. It really is about going in deep. So if there was a relationship that was built on very superficial things that wasn't here to last, okay? And it's going to be replaced by something better. If there was too much ego in a, in a relationship, though, again, there's no room. Your ego is not your amigo in this case. And so with the tower, though, it's always for your best and highest good. Somebody here was manifesting this. Now, I've talked a lot about love just because the Hierophant and the High Priestess are partners and also the Two of Cups. If it was a job that you lost, though, and I'm sorry I didn't get into this earlier, but it just wasn't there. It also is was not in your highest and best good. It might have been paying the bills, but there's something better. The nature abhors a vacuum. So the tower comes in and it will not just leave a vacuum space. It will be filled by something better coming along. And it's a match with the two of cups. It's a relationship match. It's also a match, though. In a job, this is reciprocity. You see how their cups are equal sizes? It's two people or two situations that offer a match. And so with this, it brings a lot of peace and harmony. There's love here. There's depth here. There's maturity here. And it runs the distance with the Hierophant. I mean, that's a long-term commitment card, very stable energy. So what I see in this reading is a lot of stability for you out of something that was very unstable. And so with the King of Swords, you're able to communicate, but you're also able to see the truth in a situation. This is mental clarity. There's no confusion here. The King of Swords is nobility. So it's also being in a place where you feel confident. You feel like you're attracting all the right things in your life. So if you've been through hell and back, it's time to be in a phase where there's momentum and the good things are coming in. The King of Swords gets what he wants, but he also has money too. The swords represent nobility, as I mentioned, when the cards were first created. That's also wealth, okay? So there's no lack consciousness here with the King of Swords. It's a positive indicator. It's also a positive indicator too that his, his sword is upright. That's it's bringing in, in more concrete manifestations too. So the Strength card shows up and she's divinely guided. It's also for some of you here, the reconciliation people, again, there's somebody who's suppressing their feelings big time, but there's love here. It's about um, having a conquering spirit. It's prevailing in situations. And it's also getting control over your life. If you felt like you were kind of out of control, even if you knew at a conscious, in your conscious mind that you knew you were manifesting things, but you couldn't figure out how to stop some of them. This is getting that control over things so that you're able to, you know, be in flow where you're getting things that you want and not bringing in situations that cause so much disruption to your life. But there's a compassion here. There's a gentleness. For some, if it's reconciliation, there's compassion that needed to happen. You needed to see things in a different light or you, you would have just attracted the same relationship back. Um, in terms of a new relationship too, though, it's about learning from the past so that way you're better able to be compassionate so that little things don't turn into big problems in a relationship. 
Um, so the Knight of Swords is, excuse me, Knight of Wands, I apologize. I was looking at that king again. Knight of Wands comes in and there's passion. This is momentum forward. It's action moving forward. There's no sitting still here. You've got an interesting mix because the High Priestess is very passive, but then the, the Tower, and so is Strength, the Tower and this are completely forward moving. So it is really a, a time where that King of Swords will be useful because that brings in the clarity so it's not so crazy. Now the Devil represents a cycle, a very fixed cycle, obsessive thoughts. Like I told you before, whoever is this reconciliation is with, this person does not stop thinking about you. But there is a, this can be a very codependent kind of relationship, okay? Doing things that you do in order to elicit an outcome from the other person. You like what kind of mood this person becomes or is in when you do certain things for them. And it ends up becoming a lot of giving and not receiving much. So with the devil energy, it's also about allowing yourself to be what you really can be, okay? The devil can limit people and can keep them in situations where they know they can do better but they stay in this. So with this, if it's a reconciliation, some of you, it might be time to go sit down with a third party therapist or something um, to work through this pattern, whatever this is. But for others of you, it's the tower comes in to break free of this. And, and really, I would say all of you, the tower shows up to break free of this and to release this energy. So I went a little long there, guys, but you have such complex cards here with five major arcana and the ones that you have, it's just important to really talk about what do they mean and not just throw out random predictions. There's nothing worse to me than seeing tarot where the person can't read the cards. I, You know, there's a richness, there's rich symbolic messages in these cards. It's beautiful. So if you miss the symbolism, you miss the reading in my opinion. All right, you've got recovery. So things are moving forward, especially with that strength card, the recovery is there. You've got improving health, but again, this can also be spiritual health. It doesn't have to be physical health. If there's something there with physical health, I feel like maybe they're trying to communicate it because I didn't talk about it. Peaceful resolution. So for those of you that are looking to either reconcile or be completely done with something, there's a way that's bringing you into the light here. They say not the right time. So those of you, if it's reconciliation or either way, there may be some unfinished emotional business that needs to be addressed because you do have a yes. So they're not trying to say that there's not good things coming. They're just trying to say that there may be more spiritual work with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, more in investment there that will lead you on this journey. So good things are happening for you, Libra. I love you and I'll be back again soon.